Glorious. Double kill. Hey, what's up, guys? Now, this is a game I've been super excited for since we saw it for the first time at E3 last year, and I was very fortunate enough to get some early hands-on time with a multiplayer. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know from the weapons to how to become a badass demon. Glorious. The first thing you'll notice about Doom is the pace of the gameplay, which is so fun and addictive to play. It's very much like some of those old original FPS PC games like Quake and Unreal Tournament. Now, obviously, the first thing you're going to want to know about is those big effing guns we got told about at E3. Now, each gun has a primary fire, which does exactly what you would expect it to, and shoots your guns bullets, rockets, plasma, lightning, depending on what you've chosen. But you also get a web mod, which you can use with the left trigger, which has a secondary effect. For example, with a plasma rifle, it will shoot a plasma orb, which will detonate and create a small area of burning plasma, which if people walk in, will deal damage, which works insanely well if you put it onto an objective or to block out a doorway. One little tip after doing that, you can easily finish people off by switching to your shotgun as they run through it, which brings me on to class setups. One kill remaining. Score limit reached. Now we only got to play with a small selection of the guns that are going to be available in the final release, but choosing the right combination of weapons in your class setup was crucial to success, as certain weapons would combine really well together, like the plasma rifle and the shotgun setup I mentioned earlier. You also get to choose a piece of equipment like a frag grenade, which I personally stuck to, as they're incredibly useful to throw onto an objective before rushing it with your shotgun. But there were also siphon grenades which would give you health back and teleport grenades which I sadly didn't get time to use but was told by a few other YouTubers afterwards that they were so much fun. So at the event we got to play on two different maps, Heatwave and Infernal, and two different game modes, Team Deathmatch, which I think everyone should know, and then a brand new game mode called Warpath, which was my personal favourite, which is where a catcher zone will move its way through the map, which you have to take control of. It's very similar to game modes like Hardpoint in Call of Duty or King of the Hill in Halo, apart from the fact that the area is constantly on the move, which works perfectly well with Doom's fast gameplay, and it is ridiculously fun. Oh, and one of my favorite things to do in Doom, even though I lost the Team Deathmatch 75-74 to it, is Glory Kills, which you can do by melling an enemy when you see them flashing, which happens when they're low on health. You can even do this when an enemy is a demon, which is the best way to kill them as it will guarantee you pick up the demon rune, as there's nothing more annoying than killing a demon and then the enemy to become the demon again instantly. But the best thing about glory kills is that they just look so damn awesome and will always make you go, holy cow, that looked painful. Now I'm sure a few of you just went, what the hell is a demon rune? Well, it's a pickup that becomes available throughout the game, which allows you to turn into a demon, which is ridiculously fun as it makes you feel like the biggest badass alive as you can just storm into objectives taking everyone out, but it's also very difficult to get as everyone ends up fighting for it, as when it's about to spawn, everyone can see it on their HUD and how long till it spawns, but it makes for some interesting fights as everyone just ends up sprinting for it. Now, I thought I should also mention the Gorse Cannon, which is the weapon pickup that was available to us, which weapon mod allowed you to see through walls, and primary fire is effectively just an insta-kill wherever you pointed it, and just made me realize how being constantly on the move and trying to get as many pickups as possible was crucial to success. Hack module expired. There were a couple other pickups available, like invisibility and quad damage, which were also just insane. Untouchable. As you're playing the game, you'll also want to be constantly replenishing your health and collecting armor, as it'll help you out in so many different situations, and you'll find yourself going out of your way to get the big armor pickups, or while being chased down by enemies to turn the tide in your favor. Customization also doesn't end with your class setup. You can also customize your marine's appearance, choosing different armor, different colors, patterns, and weapon patterns as well. But that's just a small insight to Doom's multiplayer experience, which I absolutely loved and had a ton of fun with. It's fast-paced, exciting, and most importantly of all, just really enjoyable to play. So make sure to subscribe for more Doom videos, drop a thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.